Hi, Mauricio, it's Mela. Mela, hi, nice to meet hi. you. Very nice to meet you. Um, hello, this is so hey. great. Mauricio, hey. before we get started, we're gonna take a really quick photo, okay? So once you look at camera, give me a nice big smile. Oh, uh, I have these right here. Oh, I love it. Ready, three, two, one, perfect. You guys are good to go. Thank you, awesome. I'm glad we're photogenic. <laughs> I know, I'm glad too. Thanks so, for joining uh, us today. Yeah, I know. It was hectic. I was like, what? I get to meet Mela today? Oh, wait. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to prepare myself a little, you know. Okay, Mr. Mari Ramirez, let's go. So what are, are you a big Apex fan? What What do you, what is my favorite, one of my franchises that's your favorite? Um, Fate, for sure. Uh, when I heard that you play Rin Tosaka, I was like, what? She was one of my favorite characters. And Mine too. Yeah. Mine, I've played her for over 10 years. And I actually had a high school uniform that was charcoal and black skirt, long socks and black lace-ups and a red sweater with the name of the school written in white. So it was like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I and suppose I you could say it was fate. <laughs> it was fate. Mm -hmm. And brilliant that I got to play her in the first um, Fate Stay Night, but then in an unlimited Blade Works, then mm -hmm. they didn't have to make it for TV. So I felt like they got to write better dialogue and really get to the heart of the matter. And have yeah. you seen any of the, the Heaven's Feel series? Uh, yeah, I saw the first two. Uh, I haven't seen the third one yet. I, missed I just that recorded one. it. Oh, it was it so beautiful that you could stop on any frame and, mm -hmm. and like frame it. It's just lush. Like they had the money to just make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. But the story is dark. Like they go there. I know. I, I was like, wow, this is way dark. It's like it's not going to be that much of a happy ending as the unlimited blade works, right? I'm no, it's not a. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. It's not a bad mm -hmm. ending. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, but it reminds me a lot of the original, you know, fate because Reen is very sacrificial, you know. Mm -hmm. So she's a little uppity, but she, you know, underneath it all, she really does care. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about her. Like how assertive she is, and and I was wondering, like, how would your how would you uh, portray Rin nowadays? Like, put on your mask and stuff. You know how like very uh, authoritative she is. Like, yes. How would you do it? Everybody, would you put on your mask? I mean, is it too much to ask for you to save a life? I do it literally every time I come on screen. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, it's so awesome. <laughs> It's still so hectic. Uh, do you ship Shiro and, and Rin, or which one's your favorite? Too? You know what? Interesting art imitating life. I had two boyfriends. One was a lot like Shiro, like a redhead. The other oh. one was more like um, Archer, like a Viking with, you know, like the lighter hair, very grumpy, but he is no longer in my life. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And I think that it's funny that art imitating life that um, a protector isn't necessarily a good match for mate. Do you know what I mean? And so I think yeah. Arch really loved her and wanted to protect her. But there's a I would ship Shiro and Reen because he would give her the opportunity to rest a little and lean in because she's not used to being in control. Like she's always in control. But Shiro turns out he's pretty powerful and loves her just the way that she is mm -hmm. and allows her to be that. So I'm kind of leaning towards the Shiro Reen ship. Oh, I didn't think about it that way. It makes sense. Oh, uh, last question I just wanted to ask. Um, if you were to do karaoke nowadays, I know that COVID doesn't allow us to, but what song would you sing at karaoke, like on, on live and stuff? Oh, there's so many good songs. I've recently been, you know, listening to to songs. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm like, oh, no. Um, I loved Firework when I watched the inauguration. I don't know if you're in America, but I was like, I'm oh, not yeah. a Perry fan, but I was like, yeah, I could feel that. Um, mm -hmm. But... I think I love I love Broadway. I actually love rock and roll, so I'd probably do, yeah, do something same, a little yeah. bit more edgy. What's one of your favorite rock songs? What do you like? Uh, I think on top of my head, I would sing uh, Bon Jovi, uh, Living on a Prayer, probably. Oh, halfway there, oh, living on a prayer. How's that? Oh. Yes, I think that's that's. I think that I would go for that. I mean, I can't top your <laughs> Bon Jovi, but I think I could get to that level someday. Ooh, I'll put that <laughs> on my list. I hate that we're having to say goodbye. Mwah, mwah, have a, an amazing day. Thank you so much for supporting uh, me you. here. Yes, of course. It's lovely to meet you. All right, it's so awesome. Thanks so much, Mauricio. Right. My heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um.
Thank you. Bye. Bye.